Hello, veteran Owen Twin here. Welcome back, and this is Final Fantasy IV: The After Years. In this episode, we're gonna start Spoonie's Tale. Ah, uh, yeah. What is Spoonie doing right now? Well, nothing important. Apparently there's urgent business to discuss with the king. The king is currently occupied with matters of utmost importance. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Financial matters. Look at this, it's Harley. What's up, Harley? She doesn't have a last name? Hmm, okay. Why is the king telling everybody to go away? I don't understand this. Let's find out what the king's doing that's so important. Shall we? I believe I left specific word to turn away all the callers. Oh really? Look at this idiot. Seriously? He's gonna sit here and play his harp and not tend to the demands of his people? Are you kidding me? This is the worst king ever. He's too busy playing his fucking harp. To, to allow an audience with, with somebody. I don't believe this. This guy should not be king. So, let me guess, Spoonie owes all this money to these other countries and it's time for him to pay up and now they're fine, they don't have any money to do anything anymore? Is, is that what's going on here? I really, really don't understand the, uh, the premise of this tale. Doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. Like I've said before in my previous Let's Play of uh, of this game, why didn't they have a tale centered around Sid? That would have been awesome. It would have been better than this shit. I mean, why does fucking Spoonie get his own tale? In the first game, he's in your party for a grand total of two dangerous areas and then the fight at Fabul, and that's it. And then the only other part that matters for him is the part with the Dark Elf, and then after that, that's it. So why does this guy get his own tail? Who frickin' knows? I think I know what it is. 
Square Enix doesn't like old people. That's why they kill off Tella. They were going to kill off Sid. And then they decided, well, who's going to fix the airship for, for Cecil and, and company? So they decided to resurrect him after he committed suicide. So basically he inexplicably survived uh, blowing himself up. So yeah, they, they wrote themselves into, into some holes in the first game. You can definitely tell. But you know what? It's still a good game. I forgive that kind of shit because it's a good game. Right, whatever. What's going on? This guy is still crying about Anna. Alright, well, let's look at Spoonie's crap. Uh, as you can see, he starts at level 8. He has a dream harp. Um, he's got some okay stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, the guild band that he has uh, increases guild earned in battle by 50%. That's okay, I guess. That's not too bad. Um, Bard's tunic protects against silence, not that that matters with him. Um, let's look at his commands. And he's got Bard's song and uh, Salve, which is actually his only good ability. Bard's song is too random for it to be, be any good, unless, uh, well, unless they made it not random for this version of the game, in that case, uh, it might actually be okay. But since Bard Song is random, it's probably not that good. Yeah, we're going to be sneaking around the castle at night then.
Who knows? Who the hell knows why she wanted to? Aha, we get a bronze tail. Yeah, we're going to be using those to trade later on in the chapter. So yeah, we're going to be looking out for those. Alright, we get a lustful lolly ho. Nice. Those will be nice for later on, like in the crystals chapter. Oh, you know, I can't sleep. This way. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything here. Storehouse. Spider silks are nice. Bomb cores are not nice. Spoonie's Chambers. No, nah, not yet. Still fucking around a little bit. I think there was a bronze tail somewhere over on this side. I could be wrong though. Yeah, like, yeah, I thought there was a bronze tail in here. Like in that pot or something. Oh! No, there's a secret passage! Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, there's something over here. I thought so. Yep, yeah, I remember that one. Alright, now that we've done that, uh, no, where, where am I going here? Yeah, I want to go up, and to the left, wait a minute, aha, any bronze tails in here? Good to have some music. Just because it's nighttime doesn't mean there doesn't have to be music. You know, the, just because it's nighttime doesn't mean music has to shut off. You know what I mean? Whatever. Alright. Time to go over this way and up. Harley's room. You're not going to let us through, are you? Okay. Thanks a lot, dutiful maid. If there's a bronze, 
Wait a minute, what's going on? <laughs> He's actually sleeping in her bed? What the hell is that about? Well, whatever, let's, uh... Read Harley's Diary. The moon has shown itself once more. Are those terrifying days of war about to stage a return? The peace we enjoy today is wholly a product of King Spoony and his companions. Military might is not what will drive our kingdom into the future. Education and science are the true catalysts. I believe this so fervently that I traveled to Troy and devoted my younger days to study. Yeah, Troy, right? <laughs> Learning how to bob, at, bob some freaking apples, probably. <laughs> this and nothing else allowed me to attain the position of royal secretary that I enjoy today. Oh, great. King Spoonie is too kind to me. My duties are stressful, but I find every day in this castle to be rewarding. If I could have it so, I would want this life for myself forever. A life free of war and strife. It may be my imagination, but ever since that moon returned to the sky, the soothing, reassuring notes from King Spoonie's harp have taken on a timber of deep sadness. Yeah. Okay. Anywho. We are going to go to sleep now. Because that's all we can do. She looks sad because she's disappointed in you, Spoonie. You're a lousy king. Horrible king. We do now. <laughs> Sparring partner, right? Throwing books at each other and shit, maybe. <laughs> Well, let's go save her, shall we? Uh-oh. Fine.
Okay. So we got Spoonie and a bunch of generic guards. And look at that, they built a nice bridge for us. Isn't that nice? I think that's pretty nice. Can we go to the antlion cave? Yes, we can, but I don't think we're supposed to go here yet, so I'm not going to. Alright, so we got some cockatrices and whatever. I guess I'll try Bard Song. As you can see, it's going to be random. Guardian Spell, yeah, that puts Protect on your party. These guards stink. Jeez, look at the these guards are terrible. God, just why is this battle taking so long? New weapons, please. Holy shit. You know, can I buy weapons at Damn Cyan? These weapons stink. They're horrible. Please. Give me new weapons. Please tell me that the weapon shop is open. Okay. Yes, I will buy... I will gladly buy three broadswords, because honestly, I am not going to go to this next area with these guys attacking like this. It's just not going to... not going to happen. I like being able to kill stuff, okay? I mean, there's really no excuse why the kingdom should be in debt anyways. I mean, well, actually, you know, that kind of makes sense. Maybe Spoonie's in debt. Uh, maybe he's trying to get out of debt by not buying his, uh, his soldiers' good equipment. Maybe that's why they have cheap swords. I guess that kind of makes sense. Maybe he's spending his money on uh, on stuff the kingdom needs, or doesn't need, I should say. So we're on the upper wall of the impact crater. I like recovery pots.
Don't care much about potions. God, even with this upgraded equipment, our attack still sucks. We got some new enemies. We got Hun legs and a sandworm. So yeah, an enemy that we were fighting as a boss in one of the other chapters is now a common enemy. Yay! Good job, game designers. You couldn't just come up with a new boss. I don't know. That to me is just kind of lazy. But whatever. Iron armor. I know Spoonie can't use it. I'll give it to Guard B. There you go, Guard B. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay, straight ahead. Straight ahead we will go. Holy crap, two of them. Yay. This is the weakest party ever. <laughs> it really is. Potions are nice. Hmm. A beret. Yeah, it's better. Not much better, but it is better. Hey, random guard.
course she's not gonna listen to you. You're a freaking random guard. Hmm. Where are you, Holly? Wait a minute, did I miss that? No, I got it. Okay, just had to make sure. Gargoyles, huh? Yeah, I've been trying to uh, use Bard Song on the enemies, and most of the time, it doesn't work. Wow, it actually worked. It actually completely worked. I'm surprised. Beat yourself. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Good job using Tornado on yourself. Very good. I like that. I don't know why they're giving us ethers, but oh yeah, I guess for bands, I suppose. And there she is. Putrefied. Sounds pretty nasty. What the heck does putrefied mean anyways? I mean, I know what petrified means, but putrefied? I don't know. It's kind of a new one. Anyways. Oh, never mind. I guess I'll show off fighting these guys. Yeah, we're going to fight some Adam and Toys monsters. Yes, the same monster that we defeated in Yang's Tale. Except this time, Spoonie's gonna take on two of them, and he's just gonna lull them to sleep with his spooniness. I don't know, I'll try it again. Now, the two battles that I've actually shown it, Bard Song or whatever, it actually worked. Most of the battles off screen, though, it doesn't work. It either says no effect or the enemies are immune to whatever he's trying to do. Again, Bard Song, the fact that it's random is just bullshit. I hate that. But either way, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. In the next episode, we'll meet up with Harley and find out why she so foolishly ran off to investigate this crater. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.